So we're going to speak tonight about the cross in my life. First of all, I have been pointing out in previous sessions two very important facts about the cross. First of all, it's the basis of God's total provision for every believer. Everything we ever need in time or eternity, in every department of our lives, spiritual, mental, emotional, physical, financial, temporal, or eternal, has been provided for us through the cross. There is no other basis. Either we receive on the basis of the cross or we do not receive. Paul said, he who spared not his own son but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not also with him freely give us all things? Just try to absorb those closing words. God will also, with Jesus, freely give us all things, but without him, nothing. On the basis of the cross, we can receive everything, but without that basis, we are not entitled to anything. Secondly, and this is also very important, the cross is the basis of Christ's total defeat of Satan. Through his death, his substitutionary sacrifice, his victorious resurrection, and his triumphant ascension, Jesus has administered to Satan and his kingdom one total, permanent, irrevocable defeat. There is nothing Satan can ever do to change that fact. And it's on that basis that we have victory over Satan. If we come in contact with Satan, if we have a conflict with Satan on any other basis but the cross, we will be defeated. But on the basis of the cross, we can be totally victorious. Now because of these two important facts about the cross, Satan has a strategy against the church. He cannot change what has been accomplished by the cross. That's eternal. It's settled by God. But the, what he can do and what he seeks to do is to hide from the church what was accomplished by the cross. So that when the church loses sight of what was accomplished by the cross, then the church no longer enjoys the benefits provided. The church no longer lives in the full provision which was made by the cross, and the church is no longer capable of administering Christ's defeat to Satan. Now this is brought out very clearly in one particular verse in Galatians chapter 